With over 30 years of executive coaching, one of the most requested areas for people who want to improve is around leadership presence. So let me break my ideas down into two basic categories. Number one, authenticity, and number two, technique. The first one, leaders have a strong presence when they are authentic, bar none. The most powerful and attractive leaders are fully present, great listeners, comfortable in their own skin, and confident in who they are. Those that listen and ask questions are not only more powerful than those who ramble on, but we love to be around people who genuinely are interested in hearing our story. Number two, technique. Technique is important, but not necessarily as important as authenticity. And there are some smaller things that we can do that will remove the static to our authentic presence. Over 90% of all communication is considered nonverbal. So seek feedback from others, watch yourself on video, and be aware of others' reactions to you. For example, my dad used to jangle this change in his pocket when he was nervous. Many of my past clients had a resting face that appeared that they were disinterested or mad, while others couldn't stand still when giving a presentation. Most people have some nonverbal habit that gets in the way of their presence. Find out what yours are and work to stop doing them. And lastly, dress. The general rule of thumb here is to dress slightly better than your team, your client, or your audience, but in the same style. Details matter, get the best quality possible. And in the end, leadership presence is about being genuine, having an interest in others, being comfortable in your own skin, confident in your point of view, and aware of how nonverbal communication and dress can make you a bit more credible. If you like this video and would like more on leadership presence and innovation, executive team development and strategic planning, be sure to like this video.